Yo guys, in this video I'm going to show you a quick fix for when your BIOS screen doesn't show up when you're booting up your PC, like I'm going to show you right now. See, it gives you no option to get into your BIOS at all, but I do have a fix for this, so without further ado, let's get started. So pretty much what the problem was is the PC that I have right here, which is actually my old gaming PC, wasn't displaying the BIOS screen or like when you have like press enter or F10 or F2 on your keyboard to get into the BIOS. The BIOS screen before you get into the BIOS, if that makes any sense. But it wasn't even displaying that and I needed to get to it because I think I needed to do some overclocking or something, but this is just a fix because this computer right here actually has the problem. So if we take a look inside of it, I'm actually going to show you the solution right here and right now. So if I turn on my other camera here and get it set up, hold on. So taking a look at the computer right here, here it is. There's the other camera. And taking a look inside, we want to look for the battery. The little tiny battery that you sometimes see on motherboards. Like, here's an example over here. If you take a look at that, there's the battery right there. This is a motherboard right there. Sorry, it's kind of dark. Sorry for the rest of the set, but it's kind of dark. But right there's the battery, and we want to find that to pop it out. So taking a look back into this computer right here, I couldn't find it right away, but all motherboards usually have them, unless they're some special thing or something. So trying to find it, I actually did locate it, and it's under the graphics card right here. I actually didn't think my motherboard had one, but it actually does, like all motherboards do. So I'm going to have to pop these screws off, can't really see that right there, There's some screws, and I'm going to have to remove that graphics card, so in a matter of time lapse fashion, I will remove it and then I will get back to you. So there it is, located right there, right behind or under the graphics card more likely. That's why we couldn't even see it. So it's really easy to remove. All you need is to like press on this one tab if you can see it right there. Let me zoom in. That little tab. And now it's out of focus. Congrats. But if you press on that tab, usually with something smaller than like, I don't know, your finger. But sometimes you can get it. Just to get it to pop out. I actually did get it. Look at that, there we go. It's like a tiny little cell battery, what, three volts or something, I don't know. But once that's removed, wait like 10 seconds and then place it back in. 12 seconds later. Okay, so it's been like 10 seconds now, so just pop it back in. Literally all you do is click it or place it until it clicks in while pressing on it. So that's pretty much it, it's pretty easy. And hopefully this will give you the option to go into your BIOS and turn off whatever you have turned on that makes it skip the BIOS screen. So I'm gonna do this now, I'm gonna plug everything in, power it up and see if it gives us the option. So after removing the little battery that resets like the BIOS, we should be able to access the BIOS now by pressing enter F12, F11, F to or delete whatever your motherboard or whatever it's all different i don't know what it is i usually mash like f10 f2 and enter all at the same time for hopefully like it pops up i actually don't remember what the key are it would probably help me but i just don't remember it's probably enter that's that's a lot of the stuff but it could be different on all of them so um i got the power button here so i'm just gonna press it Sorry about the fan noise. It's just super loud and it's like a three pin CPU fan. So it'll be displaying up on this one, on this monitor right here. So here we go. Power supply. Let's turn that on first. Rookie mistake. And three, two, one. Yes. There we go. That took a little while. I had some problems. If it doesn't work the first time, just try it again. Take out the battery, wait a couple seconds, put it back in, and eventually you will get the right number or the right key. Mine was actually F1, so the ones that I all said, well, I was actually all wrong, so it's kind of sad. But anyway, here we go. We got into the BIOS. That is an old BIOS, 1985 to 2005. Can you even read that? I don't think you can. I should bring you in. Hopefully now you can see it a little bit better on the screen. It makes it, wow, you can easily see it after turning off the lights so there's not a glare. 
but you can also hear the PC running right beside me. Sorry about the fan noise, by the way. I can usually change it in here. Now that we're in, we want to look for... Um, I don't even know where it's located. Um, where is it? Quick booting. Here it is. Found it. Turning this off. Having it on will have the option of not getting into the BIOS until you take out the battery and then put it back in. So you do not want this enabled. You want this disabled. And be sure to save that. And everything in here seems to be okay. Uh, taking a look at the boot sequence. Yeah, that's fine. And everything. Just be sure to save it. So I'm going to do save and exit. Save and exit setup. There we go. It should boot into Windows now. And let me turn this camera around now. So as you can see right here, the system is finally booting up into Windows and it gave us the option to get into the BIOS and turn off quick booting. And that was pretty much the problem. Taking out the battery will reset the BIOS. Then you have the option to go back into the BIOS and, and change some settings and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. All you have to do is remove the battery and then boot back up and you should be able to get into the BIOS. If it did not work for you, please leave a comment in the description. I will try to help you in any way that I can. I don't know everything, but I'm always willing to help you. And with that being said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.